Hi, Doug here again from X Frames FPV, and today we've got one of those scary troubleshooting videos. And I say they're scary because troubleshooting can be scary. I like making videos, but I don't like making troubleshoot videos because that means we're having a problem. And so um, this is the real ACC X210. This is the clone of the Lumineer QEVX. Did a review of this frame and um, my thoughts in after building it. This is one to definitely put on your radar because at less than a third of the cost, this is a really good choice. I had no problems with fit issues. Had some good feedback from customers that are not customers, but uh, subscribers that have said, you know, had it for a while. I've taken some pretty good hits. So I love hearing those those um, reviews that people do on these. So um a good buy, I would say. Um, but we're having some issues with this, and I'm going to go ahead and arm it here, and you're going to see what's going on. Well, you can tell right away that's way too much oscillation. And then as I bring the throttle up, it's still there. So we're not going to leave that on too long because the motors get really warm. Anytime your quadcopter is oscillating like that, whether it be on the bench or out and as you're flying, don't spend a bunch of time flying it trying to see exactly what's going on or just messing around with it hoping it's going away going to go away which it never does because it these motors in, get really warm even just with that little bit of oscillation they get really warm really quickly and so um but this one um i checked it in clean flight you know i brought the motor tab up idled everything up brought throttle up no problem smooth as silk but the problem came to light as I connected it to the radio, connect the battery, and armed it that way. And then at that point, the gyro and the accelerometer are active, are active, and that's when I saw the problem. So having looked in clean flight and looking at the motors and none of them showing any signs of any um, problems... I suspect it's the Lux, and actually I've already removed this and was going to replace it already, but um, I haven't ha don't have one in stock, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a video to show what's going on with this thing, and then um, we'll replace it and show what the, what the repair was like. So that's why the solders are kind of gnarly, because I just kind of tacked it back on there. But um, I suspect, again that this is the problem is going to be the flight controller. I like that huge battery under there. Doesn't that look funny? I will tell you my um, test batteries get, <laughs> they get abused really badly because I don't always put a LiPo alarm on them when I'm flying them because, you know, I'm building multiple quadcopters, so I just don't always do it. And, um, Sometimes I recharge them when they're still a little warm and just, just things that you're not supposed to do. So that's why I buy uh, super cheap ones. And I usually do a 1500 um, battery, which is what's on here, because I can get them really cheap and, and they work well. So um, we're going to pull the flight controller out of this. We're going to take a look at it and see what's going on with it. And um, that will really give us an idea. And I can show that if, if it is the Lux that's the problem, then this is going to be a two-part video. It's going to be very simple. If not, it's going to be a three-part or however many parts it needs to be. There's really only two components here that are, would really be in question, um, being that we know it idles up really smoothly in, in clean flight using the motor tab. So ESCs are not a problem if... if if they were a problem, that would show in the motor tab. So um, we'll replace that and we'll come back to you. And one thing real quick I, I did want to hit on, when you guys are doing these builds, um, you, know, you always want to do a fail-safe check, run the throttle up a little bit, turn your radio off, and make sure that um, however you have your, if you have it to idle, make sure that it goes back to an idle. If you have it to where it just shuts off and drops out of the sky, that it does that. Check that. Then also do just a real quick tabletop, no props on, um, like I did here with the th and bring the throttle up and just make sure it's smooth. Now it's going to oscillate a little bit because the pids are fighting against each other and there's no props on it to um, 
for there to be any reaction. And so they're just kind of fighting each other. So it will oscillate a little bit. And if you're looking at the motors tab, the motors will be doing crazy things because they're fighting each other. But it's a good way to see if there's going to be any problems before you throw props on. So, you know, they, if it's doing this, don't even put props on. Don't go out there and say, you know what, maybe it's going to get better once I get in the air. It's not going to get better. Um, we have a problem, so we need to find the solution to the problem. Um, but that would be my two cents is just get it out, just get it on the, the test bench. And if it if it's just oscillating a little bit, then go th throw it in the air and then you can do some tuning and go on from there. So hope this is helping. I hope that I've given you the information that you guys are looking for in this and that um, if I kind of uh, glossed over something that um, and didn't hit on it correctly or give you what you needed, please put it in the comment section. And thanks, guys, so much for your subscriptions. I'm up to, I think, almost 250, which is, I know it may not sound like a lot, but to me it means the world. Every subscriber I get brings a little joy to my day. I get notifications when I get subscribers, and it it, it makes me smile every time. So I do appreciate it, guys. Um, and we'll come back and do more videos on this and kind of what's going on. And I'll do a kind of a final recap on the this frame, the real ACC X210. And we're also going to hit on these new Spidex BL Heli S ESCs. These are amazing. I got these from Surge over at Pyro Drone. These are 24 amp and they're about the same size as the BL Heli S 20 amp and they have a 20 amp version and it is tiny. It is ridiculously small. It's crazy. And, um, <laughs> Serge gave it to a bunch of guys and said, Hey, go out there and put these things through the paces. And they have been just rock solid. So I'm excited about these new ESCs. And so we'll do a review of that as well. So, you guys, I do have a website. If you have any any further, if you want to kind of research some of the builds that I've done, um, want to look at, you know, kind of gives you pricing and all that, that's xframesfpv.com. That's xframesfpv.com. And again, please subscribe and like and comment. And I hope you're having a good day, and I hope you get a chance to fly. Thanks so much.